So Google Collaboratory is essentially a Jupyter notebook that runs in a virtual machine inside Google's computing cloud. And that means we can use Google's computing power by simply connecting to this uh, collaboratory service on a browser. Remember that uh, Jupyter is essentially a web server that interface the web-based notebooks and the kernels that execute code. So when we write and run some code in a notebook, Jupyter sends it to the kernel, and then kernel runs the code and returns the result to Jupyter, and then Jupyter renders the result on the notebook. So that's how the Jupyter system works. That means you can run a Jupyter server in any computer, as long as there is a way to connect to that Jupyter server. In other words, Jupyter can be run in a super powerful computer, and then we can simply connect to that server to make use of all the power. So what Google did was connecting their cloud infrastructure with this Jupyter architecture. So when we launch a Colab notebook, it launches a virtual machine in the Google Cloud and runs a Jupyter server. And then we can basically access whatever computing power Google can provide through this Colab service. But even if we don't pay anything, Colab provides pretty good virtual machines where we can even use a decent GPU and even a TPU. A really nice thing about Colab is that there is no hassle about setting up an environment. Most data science packages are already installed. And because it is essentially a virtual machine instance, we can easily install packages by using pip. So for instance, if you want to install a word cloud package, then we can just run. And now the package is installed and we can use it. And most widely used packages are already pre-installed. Like this. And because it runs on Google's computing cloud, whatever heavy computation we do, our local computer doesn't need to do any work, except running this web browser. And regarding files and data sets, you can access the file system of the virtual machine by just clicking this icon. And there's already some sample data and you can upload or download data files. And you can also mount your Google Drive and use files in your Google Drive as well. So Google's collaboratory is a super, super convenient way to use Jupyter. Most of the packages are pre-installed. You don't need to have any powerful computer because it's running on Google's cloud. And you just need a browser. And even if you need a new package, you can simply install it in your virtual machine and so on. And you can learn about Colab from their tutorial notebooks and videos and so on. And I'll link some in the video description. Uh, but in this video, let me show several tips. And I think the first thing you want to do is turning on the Corgi mode or Kitty mode. Go to Tools and Settings. And here you have a Corgi mode and Kitty mode. And then you can also choose the power level i'll do many power yeah now it's done i mean programming is pretty stressful so now you can ease your mind with the cute corgi or kitty and the power mode lets you kind of maintain your momentum with combos like if you type very quickly let me type. Like this. So that's a nice feature to turn on. And I'll quickly reduce the power. Okay, let's get more serious. So the first tip is uh, open file directly from GitHub. So you can go to files, open notebooks, 
or you can simply uh, type control O and you can see that uh, you can load files from Google Drive or you can upload your local files but there is a github menu here and we can actually type a github repository and load notebook files directly from github for instance if i type the course repository then you can see that it finds all the notebooks in the repository and you can even select the branches so for instance if i click here you'll open the assignment notebooks yeah and if you click notebook setting you can select python 3 as a runtime type that is the, the kernel you specify and then you can select hardware accelerator if you need to use them and now you can run this notebook run anyway yeah so everything works and then you can save it to your google drive by going to file and save copy in drive or just press save and it says we do not have permission to save this notebook to github so save a copy in drive and that create a copy and put it inside your collab uh, directory in your google drive okay you are working on this assignment and say you want to save a file okay. so here is an example so you just plot very simple graph and then save it to foo.png so if you run it shows the plot but nothing seems to happening and if you go to uh, cool drive there is nothing so where did the file go um do you remember that this is a virtual machine that runs the Jupyter notebook and if you click this folder icon now you can see this file so it saves the file into the virtual machine and then you can download it and see it or you can upload uh, files into this directory and use it in your notebook and you can notice that uh, this is pretty spacious uh, virtual machine you have essentially more than 60 gigabytes of drive space you can use and collab provide also like flexible and powerful shortcuts but it may be a little bit confusing at the beginning and for instance the shortcut for showing shortcuts is this so how does it work so here command slash control means you can use either command key or control key and then you can press it with m and after that you press at h so essentially you press control and m together and release them and press h then it will show this keyboard preferences adding code cell shortcut is similar so first press ctrl and m together and then press b that will add a cell another really useful shortcut is the command palette it's very similar to many modern editors like visual studio code and once you invoke the palette you can search command and execute it for instance if you want to restart the kernel and run all cells again then press the command palette shortcut and then search for restart and then now you can find restart runtime and run all cells in notebook and this command palette is open more efficient way to run command than trying to memorize all the shortcuts another cool functionality is called uh, code snippets is here and with this you can search and use existing code snippets essentially like for instance if you search for google drive 
you can find code snippets to mount Google Drive to virtual machine. And once you do this, you can use files in your Google Drive. So that's very nice. Or if you search visualization, you can find some code examples to create visualization here. And finally, once you are done, you can download the notebook as a notebook file or Python script. And also you can print. So I think collaboratory is really, really convenient way to run your analysis interactively. So I would strongly encourage you to explore more. And I hope this video was useful. And thanks for watching.